today we are at Kibex and Soul Drink at the Coex in Korea. We're going to take a look at some craft beers, some draft beers, and international beers as well, and also other drinks too. So come on, let's go. Today I am here with the Brewers Association, Steve Parr. Hello. Hi there, thanks for having me. Thank you for having the interview. So I have a couple questions for you. So the American Brewers Association is known as the organization and association that represents the craft beer industry in the United States. Can you please give me a more detailed introduction of the association? Yeah, absolutely. So we are the national trade organization in the United States that works to promote and protect American craft brewers. And so we do everything from government affairs advocacy to creating technical brewing resources to education for both consumers as well as industry brewers on on beer making, beer styles, and we do our own events in the United States for uh, both consumers as well as brewers. Amazing. Uh, the next question, following last year's performance, Quebec will also play a role in promoting the appeal of U.S. craft beer to Korea. What did you pay special attention to while preparing for this year's exhibition hall? Yeah, so this is my second time coming to the Korea International Beer Expo and through the Brewers Association's Export Development Program, we work to support the promotion of American craft beer in foreign markets around the world. And so Korea actually represents 6.5% of American craft beer exports, making it the largest export market for American craft beer in the Asia uh, Pacific region. And so we're really excited to be here and share our beers. This is the Great American Craft Beer Showcase. Wow. We have beers from 41 breweries, almost 150 different beers representing a variety of styles from both California all the way out to New York, uh, as well as Hawaii. And so there's a little bit of something for everybody, depending on what you're looking for. Uh, recently, the demand for delicious alcohol is also growing in Korea. What do you think is the difference between the style and taste of beer in the United States and Korea? Yeah, so... You know, American craft brewers around the world are widely recognized as pioneering this now global craft beer revolution. And we're very much well known for our American IPA, those hop forward styles yes. that really feature fresh American hops. We're lucky to be home to one of the largest hop growing regions in the world. And those hops don't have to travel very far. So a lot of folks come to our booth to try those American IPAs. But of course, one of our themes is variety along with quality. And so we have sweeter beers along with, you know, the kind of the fruit forward, um, sweet beers, barrel aged imperial stouts, German style pilsners featuring American hops. Uh, you know, in Korea, I think we see a lot of folks come to our booth for that American IPA, but the Korean market and around Asia, we tend to see a preference for more sweet beers, uh, those fruit flavored beers. And so we bring those along as well as kind of a contrast to those bitter IPAs. Right. They like a different kind of flavor here. So next one is, what are the strategies for diversifying and localizing American beers tailored to Korean food culture? Yeah, that's uh, a great question. We don't see a lot of breweries cater their products to a specific market. Instead, our focus is bringing the products that they're already making that American craft brewers are known for along that lines of quality and variety and innovation. And then focusing on education for the consumer to understand what are the different occasions for the different beers that American brewers are producing. So whether that be you know, at home with friends and family or you're going out to an event at concerts or sporting events or even just visiting a pub or restaurant, there's different beers for different occasions, different pairings of food and all of that. So you were here yesterday. Was there a drink that left an impression on you? Uh, from our booth or you mean on the Korean side? In the whole exhibition hall. <laughs> I, I think it's really interesting to walk around and see some of the Korean craft brewers. You know, the, the Korean beer scene is uh, much newer and kind of uh, still evolving and growing and defining their own carve out of this global craft beer community. And there's really this opportunity to utilize local ingredients, fruits, spices. I saw beers using flowers and we don't see that in the United yeah. States. And so it's really interesting for me to see how Koreans are defining their own innovation and quality in craft beer while also looking at some of the styles that American craft brewers have created. And brewers in Germany and Belgium, there's what we call the full circle effect. In the United States, we were inspired by some of the great brewing nations in Europe. We took those styles utilized our own ingredients to create what we have here today and we're starting to see that here a little bit in Korea where they've taken what we're making what's made in Europe but then taking their own innovation and ingredients that are only available here in Korea to really define their own category in craft beer 
You did such a good job at explaining all of that. Thank you so much for having an interview with us today. Um, and I hope you have a good rest of the time at the exhibition. Thank you. Thank you so much.